Hi, this is Johan, and welcome to, Your Business Bud. Almost all of us have goals every year and one of them is to save money. There are many reasons why we want to save. Probably, we want to build a house, start a business, or upgrade our vehicle. But according to a study done in the US, 69% of adult Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account. And only 15% have above $10,000 stashed away. There are many reasons why this happens, and one of them is following the wrong saving advice. Many advise that if you want to save, you need to cut down on your expenses. Stop buying expensive coffees, just bring a lunch to the office, stop your subscriptions, and much more. But I think there is a big problem with these. Because it only focuses on spending, how to spend less in order to save. So in our video today, I will share with you three tips on how you can save fast. Don't worry because I won't tell you to cut your expenses down. If you really want to drink expensive coffee, you can still do that, while saving. Watch out for our tip number two because then you will understand why you don't have to be frugal if you want to save fast. Before we continue, I have a little request, please don't forget to like our video so that YouTube can recommend it even more to people who need this information. Thanks. And remember, together, we can. Tip number one. You must know the purpose why you're saving. If there is a solid foundation of the goals we want to achieve, it is having a purpose or reason. Don't ask yourself how to save. Instead, ask why you need to save. If you want to have $100,000, why do you need to have this amount? If you wanted to save $12,000 in a year, what would you use it for? Many people fail at reaching their goals. Because they just know what their target is, but they don't have a solid reason why they want to reach it. If you want to be able to save fast, you need to have a purpose for why you are saving. For example, you want to be able to save $10,000 for your emergency account, $10,000 for your child's education fund, and $20,000 for the capital of the business you want to start. You can also divide it into short-term and long-term goals. The short-term goal is one that you want to achieve in one to three years. The long-term goal is the goals you'd like to have in three years or more. It is better to write it down on a piece of paper so that you can easily see it and always remind you every day. If you haven't yet figured out a possible reason why you need to save, this is the right time to sit down and ask yourself what part of your life you want to improve. Or maybe you just have a simple dream that you want to come true. Maybe you want to take a vacation abroad with your family, build your dream home, and have a long-term investment. Write it all down. When you know what you want to happen in your life, all you have to do is find out the specific number for your goal and be focused on accomplishing it. Tip number two, increase your income. The common reason most people use when it comes to saving is that their income is small. They often ask, how can we save big if our income is just right? I understand this kind of concern, but I hope we don't use it as an excuse not to save and just keep on complaining. Instead, we need to use it as an opportunity opportunity to increase income and opportunity to develop new skills if you want to save quickly i suggest you look for extra income or the so-called side hustle get 10 percent of your income from work and add 100 percent of your income from your side hustle let's just take janet as an example she works for a company and earns three thousand dollars after taxes every month janet also has a habit of saving she only spends $2,700, and she always saves the remaining 10% or $300. But she has a goal to save $10,000, because she plans to build a small business. She thought that if her savings were only $300 a month, it would take her another three years, before she could reach her goal. So she looked for other ways on how to minimize her saving time frame, and how she could maximize her income. She tried to do a side hustle, and she earned extra money from it. She still works full time, and she enjoys her side hustle because she only spends a little time working on it, and it teaches her new skills. She earns an average of $700 in her side hustle every month. She did not change her lifestyle. She still managed to cover $2,700 in expenses, and save the remaining $300, plus $700 from her side hustle. She used to save only $300 a month, and it will take her another three years before she achieves her goal. Now she set aside $1,000 every month. And it only took her 10 months to reach her $10,000 goal. 
From our example, we can learn the importance of increasing our income so that we can save quickly. Author and founder of MillennialMoney.com, Grant Sabatier said, The amount of money you can save is limited by how much money you are making. It is impossible to save $10,000 a month if you only earn $3,000. Always remember that, you have no problem spending, all you need to do is be disciplined in handling your money, and be focused on increasing your income. So for me, there is no sense in the advice to cut down expenses, and refrain from buying expensive coffees if you want to save up fast. Of course, you have to stop unnecessary expenses. But if you really want to hang out in coffee shops, and chill with their coffee, because it gives you happiness. Then, you will not remove that from your budget list. Many expenses give us fun and vitality. So instead of focusing alone on cutting your expenses, just devote 20% of your time to it, and 80% to increasing your income so you can save quickly. Tip number 3. Learn to budget. One of the mistakes most people make is to spend beyond their income. This is why they have debt, and cannot save. They have no awareness of the money coming in and out of their pockets. And, they give in to their emotions and continue to overspend. To avoid this mistake, and to save quickly, you need to learn to budget. If you know how to budget, you have control over your finances. All you have to do is be consistent in tracking your income, expenses, and savings. Compare your monthly income, and monthly expenses, and then focus on increasing your income. That way, you can easily achieve your savings goal, because you will only make few adjustments to your expenses as you maximize your income. The purpose of making a budget is for you to have awareness and discipline in your finances. You must know how much your total income is and where a large percentage of it often goes. Because if it often goes to things you don't really need, you can easily stop it and transfer it to your savings account. In conclusion, the key to successful and faster saving comes from having a purpose. Why you need to save. And you also need to be focused on increasing your income instead of cutting your expenses because reducing your expenses has a limit while increasing your income is unlimited. And to protect your income, you need to learn to budget. Of the three tips we discussed today, what good lesson have you learned and plan to apply from now on? Please leave a comment below. I hope you learned something from our video today. Don't forget to subscribe, so you are always updated with our new financial education videos. Like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and may all your dreams come true. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.